don't we give him glory for a few more minutes here? Aren't you thankful that he saved you? Aren't you thankful that he raised you? Hallelujah. I give him all the honor and the praise today. He's worthy. It's so good to see everybody here today. And I want us just to join hearts. I want us to unify our spirit right now for a moment. Uh, hallelujah. Let's lock in in the spirit for a second here and magnify our Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. In the name of the Lord. Why don't we stand and do it? I know we have you standing and sitting and standing and sitting, but I just love to stand in his presence. Hallelujah. He's been so good to me. I got two legs. I'm going to use them to stand and give him glory. Hallelujah. I bless the name of Jesus Christ today. He's worthy of everything that I can give him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you need deliverance from something, here is your place. Now is your time. If somebody in your life needs healing and deliverance, here is the place. Now is the time. We don't have time to hold back. We got to give it our all. Hallelujah. Give it, give your all to Jesus. Give your all to Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is an eternal consequence. Praise God. The life that we live now is temporary. Somebody shout temporary. temporary. Come on, shout my life, my life. is temporary. temporary. Everything here Everything is going to fade away. It's going to burn up like stubble and hay. Amen. That's a riddle. Praise God. That's a rhyme. Praise the Lord. But it's true anyhow. It's true anyhow. We need to remind ourselves of that every morning. So you know what? I don't need to make a big deal about this because it's going to burn up like stubble and hay. Stubble and hay. I, 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 know it, I know it may matter to my flesh, but in reality, it really doesn't matter that much. Praise God. If my soul is lost, I might think I'm saved. I might think that I'm on the right track. I may think because, you know, I'm a part of a church even, that that automatically makes me right with God. But my friend, it doesn't. It does not. We need to learn to worship God at all times. Bless his holy name and make sure that, we, that we're studying that book. Hallelujah. And that we're reading the word of God so we know we're on the straight and narrow. Hallelujah. Because I can't stand before. The Bible says that, that the pastor in your life is going to give account of your life. Hallelujah. But I'm not the one that's going to be able to judge you ultimately in the end. God is going to judge each and every one of us individually. And I want to hear the Father say, good and good and faithful servant, well done, thou good and faithful. Well done. You worship me above your job. You worship me uh, above your degree. You worship me, hallelujah, above your own children. And you put me first, truly. You were faithful you were committed you were there you didn't make excuse you love you helped out you you participated in the kingdom of god you made your role in the church the most important thing in your life why because it's about eternity versus temporary i'm gonna store up for myself treasures in heaven somebody shout in heaven, in heaven. come on shout in heaven, in heaven. Praise god. i want to store up for myself treasures where Hallelujah. Not on this earth, because everything on this planet is going to burn. Everything you see, the Bible says, is temporary, and it's going to burn up like stubble and hay. It's going to burn up. Some of y'all don't believe it, so I'm going to say it again. It's going to burn, burn, baby, burn, burn. Praise God. Y'all look at that be funny. Is that the truth or what? The truth. Amen. That's the truth. I preach truth. I don't, I don't preach fluff here. You want, you want fluff? There's a couple of churches down the road. I can give you the address. Praise the Lord. But we preach truth here. Amen. And truth is what's going to make us free. Amen. Didn't Jesus say that? Yes. Jesus said, you shall know the truth, and it will make you free. Praise God. And we need to worship God for the truth that we have. Not everybody has to, not everybody has received the revelation yet, but we've got truth. The one God, hallelujah, Jesus is his name, hallelujah. He said, come and be born again of the water and the spirit, baptized in Jesus' name. We got a baptismal tank here now, so ain't no excuses for those who haven't been baptized in Jesus' name. The water is here, it's ready. What are you waiting on? What doth hinder you? Praise God. We're going to put that right above, right above the baptismal, right here. What? doth hinder you. <laughs> Praise God in Jesus' name. That's what it's all about. Amen. I'm so thankful to be here. I'm so thankful to be in his presence. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. I'm thankful for Sister Angelina. I'm thankful for every single one of y'all. Amen. Amen. Thankful for my wife. Thankful for Brother Michael. Thankful for Sister Katrina. I'm not going to name every single name while I run out of breath. Praise God. But I'm thankful for every single one of y'all. 
Amen. For you too. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Let's unite together. Amen. Let's do this thing. Praise God. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Jesus. Come on, you feel that? There's nothing like praising Jesus. Nothing like praising Jesus. He's king of my life. Merciful God. You know what? Praise the Lord. You don't need my per permission, but I give you permission. Even while we're preaching, no matter what's going on in the service, just to pick up a tambourine and just say hallelujah. Praise God. Let it go in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Is that crazy or is that crazy? Y'all think that's crazy? Y'all think I'm weird, don't you? No. Praise God. I don't care. I'm like David. I'll dance before the presence of the Lord. You can look out a window and call me crazy. I don't care. I'm giving him praise. Hallelujah. I don't care. He's done too much for me for me to hold it back. He's done too much for me for me to hold it back. I love him. I worship him. I magnify him. Hallelujah. He's my God. He's the number one in my life. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. Well, I'm not going to take up a bunch more time. We got another fiery testimony here today. Brother Joel wanted to give a testimony today. And we're going to let him come up here and just do what he feels in Jesus. And while he's while he's giving his testimony of, of where he's come from and and uh, the, the dramatic shift in his life that brought him here, whatever he wants, I don't know what he's going to say, but whatever he's uh, going to tell you, just get behind it. Say amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Look back over your own life. And remember while he's given his testimony of his life and remember what God did in your life and just give God praise. Hallelujah. Remember what he's doing right now and just give God praise. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Brother Joel. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God, everybody. Amen. So uh, I didn't prepare anything. I didn't write anything down. I did bring a couple of scriptures with me. Um, but either way, I just wanted to, some of you guys might know my story. I just want to share some of my story with you guys. I was born um, in Puerto Rico. You know, I was raised in a church, Pentecostal. Um, <clears throat> uh, my family's been through some hard times. There was some rocky roads between my parents and my uh, my mother decided to move to Wisconsin. And I was, you know, I didn't know what was going on as a kid, but um, it affected us kids either way. You know, those kind of major moves doesn't, you know, doesn't go unfelt by us children. And uh, as I grew up, you know, I, I saw a lot of pain and hurt, and I experienced some of that myself. And um, unfortunately, it, it kind of transferred to me, and I brought that into my adult life. And I always didn't act right, you know. I always I had a lot of anger. I was always an angry guy, you know. I was you're not gonna hurt me. I'm gonna hurt you more than you can ever hurt me. You know, you can't beat me. And that's how I always acted. That was always, you know, that that was very very, very bad. Even though I was always had the truth in me the truth was always there you know calling in me and just you know letting me know but I just uh suppressed it I always chose to just you know no I want to do what I want to do I don't care whatever you know and um but um over time uh you know uh God has uh, blessed me truly and he has truly brought me unto the light I give him all the glory all the praise all the amen. worship that he has drawn me by the power of his spirit amen because that is what the word says he draws us by the power of his spirit and um, uh, nonetheless uh, he uh, I was backslidden a couple of times and each time I, uh, I gave my uh, life to God you know he, he did wonders and then I, I became disheartened I just chose to follow my own will and I backslid and I ended up worse and worse and worse and the Bible talks about that and it's very true I experienced that myself and um, <clears throat> this last time I came to a place that I, that I was so dark and lonely and painful that I basically didn't even want to exist it was the worst place I've ever been in my entire life right. and um, and I used to always say to myself you know all I need is this <clears throat> all I need is me and my family and I can get through this. All I need is me and my family, my son. I would not include God. Although, down inside, I always knew, you know, you know you're wrong, you know you need God, what you saying, you know? And I was just lying to myself, because I didn't know what else to do, you know? Hallelujah. I give all the glory and all the 
crazy God Almighty, because I always thought my thing. But I stand here on this day to tell y'all that it doesn't matter how dark of a place you are, how impossible things are. Nice. There is a God that always makes a way. He yes. is the way maker. He is the Thank miracle. You, Jesus. All you have to do is believe in him and his power and pray and live according to his will, and he will move the biggest mountains possible out of your way. Amen. He has done it for me and I'm here to testify that. Yes. That he has reached out and just plucked me out of the darkness and has shown My me God. a better way and it better just way. continuously shows me yes. and opens up the path for me and just holds me dear and I just love him. I just can't tell you how much I love him. And 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 let me jump back a little bit. There was a time before I met her I had a dream and, and, and God came before I even knew her, I didn't know her name. I don't think I ever heard the name of Lucinda in my entire life. God gave me a dream that that night. And this was a hard time in my life, too. I was just going through a major shift in my life. And um, and he came into my dream, and he and I had to, he, he shows me just the way I feel, the way he speaks to me in my dreams. I can feel the emotion. And I heard her name, Lucinda, and I just knew that that was going to be my wife. I knew it. Never met a Lucinda, didn't even know the name Lucinda is, existed. This is a true story. I go to get a job at Ruby Tuesdays. I introduce myself to her. She says, hi, my name is Lucinda. I said, <laughs> like, I just like, what? Like, whoa. And I said, oh, well, hello, my name is Joe. She said, good to meet you, Philip. And that's been a joke for a while. <laughs> it really has been. But either way, so, you know, as time went on, God showed me, you know, uh, who she, who she was, you know, the most loving heart. She's, she's always puts herself last. She will, you know, leave herself. She won't eat as much so that we might eat more. Or well, she will give the last, whatever she has, she's always willing to give. It doesn't matter, you know. She's always willing to give. She, God has blessed her with the biggest spirit of giving yes, that I've yes, ever known, ever. I think some of you guys might be able to testify yeah. to that truth. And, um, and uh, so, yeah, so, you know, I've made a lot of mistakes, but I just give all the glory to God that he has taken me to this place. And and I just want to make sure that from 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 this day on out, even though I've made this decision before, but I'm just declaring it now publicly so everybody can know that I love this lady with all my heart. She means the world to me. And I will, I will do everything in my power to make sure that her needs are taken care of that I stand as a man of God to build her and in, in as best as I can, you know, uh, um, as the word says that we are to, you know, teach our families and um, and to just continuously, you know, uh, uh, uphold her in whatever righteous way possible that I can do. You know, God first, number one, always. And um, uh, so without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, Present this here. And <clears throat> if you can make me the happiest man that I could ever possibly be and be with me forever, joined together in holy matrimony, under God, always honoring God, always placing God number one in our relationship, we will always make it. There is not a doubt in my life or my, my mind that we will not make it. We will make it. As long as we keep sight of God, if we lose sight of God, I can't say anything else. But God, number one, always. And if He promised to do that, we're gonna be all right. Thank you, Jesus. Do me the honor of marrying me. Yes. Come on, everybody. a little better we might share with you guys a little bit more of our story and you're gonna really come to understand that this is a true miracle i mean miracle like 
That's all I got to say. I just want to give all the glory to the King of Kings, the Alpha and Omega, the one who knows everything that we need, how we need it, when we need it. All the glory is his in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.